De Quino were relegated after a topsy-turvy campaign, which started with Peter Butler as coach, only for him to be fired early in the season. Roger de Sar took over as coach and his workload doubled when he and a consortium bought the club after months of uncertainty at the Fokeng-based outfit. It hardly came as a surprise that stars were relegated and now they have the big challenge of trying to make a return to the elite tier. The likes of Highlands Park, Golden Arrows and Chipper United have done it before, so they've got good reason to believe they can bounce back within a year. The first division is very difficult. Whoever the coach is going to be, and I am hoping it's still coach Roger, is going to need to have players who are dedicated and who are hardworking, Mia tells kickoff.com. He is going to need players who know how to adapt to tough situations because in that league there's no time to nurse feelings. There's no time to say you did not sleep well or you did not travel well on match day. Highlands Park did it. They kept most of their players and they came back. They were hungry enough. But you can't expect to be treated the same in the PSL and in the first division. If Platinum Stars has those players who are hungry, then the team can come back. It's unclear if Mia will still be with the club next season, as he is waiting to hear if his contract which expires at the end of this month is going to be renewed.